with the software of the Oracle database install and the listener. Now we have to uh, create a custom installation of a database itself. So let's go to database system configuration. Okay, I'm going to click next, create a database, custom database. I'm going to give it a name, OTMDB, next, next. Use the same administrative passwords for all accounts. It's going to be OTMDB, OTMDB. Yes. Click next. Next again. I'm going to only leave uh, four of these. Okay, Oracle Test, OLAP, Spatial Enterprise Manager. I'm going to lower the memory size, even though I don't have to do it. So it's one for three six. Sizing, I'm going to go with 300 processes. Character set, I'm going to use the Unicode. I'm going to change the parameters. You're going to see it in the right hand side. Yeah, these are the things that I have to uh, change. You will going to see this in the description of the video, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, just add it here. The DB16K cache size. Next is the job quick process. We we're gonna set it to four from 1000. Okay, four. Next is the open cursors. We're gonna set it to 3000. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, so okay, 3000. Next is the optimizer mode. I will gonna just right choose. Next one should be the optimizer index caching 50 and also the optimizer index cost 50. The PGA aggregate target will be set to this default one, don't ask me why, it's written in the, uh, yeah, it's all, it, it has to do with the, with the, how much memory do you have, of course, so we're gonna set it to this number, you can find it also on the uh, um, configuration file that I've showed previously, let's set the processes, I mean, these are already set, set up to 300, we will gonna leave it that way, the query and rewrite integrity should be trusted. Let's just write this down, trusted, okay. Session cache cursors should be 100. Let's set it to 100. Where are you? Okay, 100. And the next thing and last one that we have to do is the statistic level. We're gonna choose it or change it to all. Okay, all. Great. Close button. Next button. Next button. Generate database creation scripts. Finished. Yeah, so these are our changes. Yeah, everything should be here. Okay, great. Okay, click the OK button now. Okay, the screw was generated. Now this will gonna take some while. I will gonna skip this part in the video. So this is the uh, last screen. You you can have here the the password man management. Also, please read this text. This is the uh, the link where you should go to to access the enterprise manager. This is where you can change the password. Okay, click OK. Let's follow this link. Okay, I'm gonna use Google Chrome. This should be a secure HTTPS local server 1158 slash EM. Okay, I will gonna allow it. I'm gonna log in with my sys 
user and password OTMDB. I will connect as a CDBA. Let's log in. And you should see the, the database and a listener uh, online and available. Let's see. Yep, it's up. So, this is good. Thanks.